Hello friends, good morning. In this video lecture, I will explain some applications that is specific applications of extremely inverse characteristic over current relay. So this is the general characteristic of inverse characteristic relays. Time is equal to k into time multiplier setting divided by i to the power n minus 1. Now here constant k and n. They change according to the degree of inverseness. For IDMT relay, it will be different. For very inverse characteristic, it will be different. And for extremely inverse characteristic, it will be different. Now here we are considering extremely inverse characteristic relay. So for extremely inverse characteristic relay, K is 80 and N is greater than or equal to 2. Now when N is greater than or equal to 2, the characteristic can be approximated to i to the power n into t is equal to constant multiplied by time multiplier setting. Let us assume time multiplier setting is unity 1. So, characteristic is i to the power n into t is equal to k. k is a t and n is greater than or equal to 2. So, first application. First application is overload protection of machines. Now, what is overloading? Overloading means the current or load is more than permissible load but it is permitted for some time now when machine is overloaded the extra heat will be generated now heat generated in the machine is given by this equation h is equal to i square r into t higher the value of i more will be the heat generated for the same current if we run the motor in overload condition for more time more heat will be generated now, if we keep this registers constant, then heat generated or heating characteristic will be proportional to I square into T. Now, in this extremely inverse characteristic relay, if you put N is equal to 2, here we get equation I to the power N into T, I to the power I square, I square T is equal to constant. So, this characteristic matches with the character, heating characteristic of the machine. Therefore, the extremely inverse characteristic relay can be used as overload protective device for machines. Second application is, it can also be used as short circuit protective device for induction motor. Why? See, in general, for short circuit protection, for small induction motors, we are using fuse. Now, fuse characteristic is i to the power 3.5 into t is equal to constant. i to the power 3.5 into t is equal to constant. Now, for extremely inverse relay characteristic, we can have n greater than or equal to 2. So, we can increase the value of n to 3.5. So, if we increase the value of n to 3.5, then this characteristic will become i to the power 3.5 into t is equal to constant. So, this characteristic matches with the characteristic of the fuse. Now, fuse has its disadvantage, that is, it, it needs replacement every time. So, for small induction motor, fuse will be okay, but for large induction motors, in place of fuse, we can use extremely inverse characteristic relay for short circuit protection by keeping n is equal to 3.5. So, if n is equal to 2, it can match the overload characteristic and can be used as overload protective device. If n is 3.5, this can be used as short circuit protective device for the same machine. Third application is, it is provided, it, is, it can be used as protection against unbalanced loading of generators. Now what happens during unbalanced loading of the generators? During unbalanced loading of the generator, the negative phase sequence current flows and this generates extra heat. So, we need a device which matches the heating characteristic. So, here we have seen that this extremely inverse characteristic relay with n is equal to 2 can match the heating characteristic. So, after, the, after installing the negative phase sequence filter, we can use extremely inverse relay as protective device for unbalanced loading of the generator. Next application is when ID empty relay fails in selectivity 
extremely inversely like can be used. Now I will explain this by this characteristic. Now when we plot the characteristic of inverse time delay, we take i or plus setting multiplier along x-axis and operating time along y-axis. Now this is the characteristic of IDMT delay. This is the characteristic of extreme, extremely inverse characteristic relay. Now you can see the difference. Here degree of inverseness is higher. Now these are two different values of current. Say I1 and I2. Now corresponding to I1, there will be operating time for IDMT relay as well as extremely inverse relay. Here IDMT relay, extremely inverse relay. Corresponding to I2, again there will be operating time for IDMT relay and extremely inverse relay. Now, if you observe the time difference for IDMT relay for these two different values of the current, then difference between the operating time is less. If we consider the operating time of extremely time, extremely inverse characteristic relay for these two current, this is this is one operating time, this is second operating time. So time difference is large. So when IDMT relay fails in selectivity. We can install extremely inverse characteristic relay for providing the selectivity. So these are four important applications of extremely inverse characteristic relay. Friends, if you feel this video lecture useful, then please like it. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on protection, power system protection, and high voltage engineering. Ask your friends colleagues and your juniors to subscribe to my channel. If you want to make efficient and effective use of time, then read my book on time management. The link for the book is given in the description box. I have launched a useful course for the students on Udemy. The title of the course is Boost Your Learning and Become Top Achiever. This course is very useful for the students who are preparing for entrance and competitive examinations. The link for the course is also given in the description box. Thank you.